Hey, we're doing a short little study today on the uh, uh, Where's God's Word for the Dutch speaking people? And uh, I just wanted to show you some things here. If you go to Isaiah, make sure you've got a King James Bible for the study, or you're going to miss everything. Go to Isaiah 14 12. It's uh, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground? And then we go to the, the Hebrew. Now, I don't go to the Hebrew, but I do have God's... Uh, I do have the scriptures in Hebrew with the English translation right beside them. And let's go to Isaiah 14, 12. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down on the ground? And I'm going to show you that in Hebrew for all these people that say, Well, you got to go back to the Hebrew. you got to go back to the Greek. Don't go back to the Hebrew and Greek. I've got the Hebrew and Greek. If you want to go back to it, but guess what? It's the scriptures in Hebrew and Greek. And, Greek. Yeah. and uh, I'm going to show you with the other camera here. It's Isaiah 14, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Luke? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? If you guys can see that okay. Now I'm going to show you in Hebrew. Isaiah 14, 12. Isaiah 14, 12. That's what it looks like in Hebrew. Let me read that uh, backwards. So, so, it's the exact same thing, Lucifer in Hebrew, in English. It's the exact same thing, Lucifer in Hebrew, in English. Isaiah 14, 12, Palm of Hanna Lucifer. Now let's look at Dutch from Isaiah 14, 12, Palm of Hanna Lucifer. Now let's look at Dutch from 1560. Now they, no one else seems to have this Bible, and I seem to be the only one that has it. And it is the scriptures, but if we go to Isaiah 14, 12, We'll see uh, 1560. Now they, no one else seems to have this Bible, and I seem to be the only one that has it. And it is the scriptures, but if we go to Isaiah 1412, we'll see uh, who when the heaven himmel have fallen or Lucifer. The son of the morning. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, the son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weakest the nations? So it's exactly the same in the 1560 Dutch. It's uh, exactly the same here. So it's exactly the same in the 1560 Dutch. It's uh, exactly the same here. Read it yourself. If you, uh, uh, all you Dutch people know what I'm saying is true. And if we go back here, read it yourself. If you, uh, uh, all you Dutch people know what I'm saying is true. And if we go back here, just look this, 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 the scriptures in Dutch. This, the Staten retelling is not scripture. The Staten retelling is very, uh, very corrupt. Yeah. Let's go to the scriptures in Dutch here. The Debo in food and it old and. Yeah. Let's go to the scriptures in Dutch here. The Debo. In food and at old and new testament, uh, and this was done by uh, in 1560 by Cum Gracia and Preling. Anyhow, I got this uh, out of a lawyer's office in, in Belgium, and uh, it is the words of God uh, for the English speaking people. First, the book of Moses, but and uh, it is the words of God. Uh, for the English-speaking people. First, the book of Moses. Yes. In the beginning, God created the the, the, the he In the beginning, God created the, 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 the heaven and the earth created. See, the heaven. Chemo, chemo, heaven. Chemo, not chemo. Chemo. This is God's word for that. Now we're going to go to Isaiah, uh, uh, sorry, Daniel. We're going to go to Daniel. Daniel. We're going to go to Daniel. 
Right, let's go to Daniel uh, 325. Matthew, let's go to Daniel uh, 3.25. 3. 25. Okay, now we're going to show you Daniel 3.25. First in English. And you can take a peek at it in, in uh, Hebrew if you want. Welcome to 325. Three. Three twenty-five. What does it say? As he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Now the Staten Vertelling and all your Dutch translations will say like a son of the gods. Thor? Who, who's, who's that? Hercules? Like a son of the... Now the Staten Vertelling and all your Dutch translations will say like a son of the gods. Thor? Who, who's, who's that? Hercules? Like a son of the gods. Anyhow, we're going to look at this over since we we're, in, we're in Hebrew. I'll let you look at it in Hebrew. That's verse 25 here. Just look at that for you people that can read Hebrew, including my Jewish friends out there. And uh, as you can see, a son of the gods. So don't let these modern versions uh, fool. That's verse 25 here. Just look at that for you people that can read Hebrew, including my Jewish friends out there. And uh, you can see, the son of the gods. So don't let these modern versions uh, fool, fool anybody. And uh, certainly don't let any Dutch Bible after uh, uh, 16, 1637, I believe the Staten Vertelling was written. But anything before that, hello darling, anything before that is corrupt. So this is, this is the book. This is the book and I'll show you from the other camera. And this is God's pure, perfect words in Dutch in the year 1560. And it's very, very, very brittle, this book. Extremely brittle. And uh, we're going to be doing more studies on this, but uh, that's all we're going to do for today. And of course, I have God's word in, in, in uh, God, the scriptures. I have the scriptures in uh, English, Hebrew, and... Uh, and... Uh, and, and Greek, English, Hebrew, and Greek. And I'm going to show you something else very interesting. I also have God's words in Latin. That's right, in Latin. And uh, this, this book here is. Uh, I just wanted to show you this book here. With the other camera for a moment, just to show you when it was done. So this book was written. This is a very old book as well. Not not not, not like 1560 like the Dutch one, but uh, Biblia Sacra. Hebrica and Anglica, and it was written in M C C C X X X one, and then at the back we have the Greek, the New Testament in Greek. Of course, the Old Testament's only Hebrew. I don't have that in Greek. That would I mean uh, because it was written in Hebrew. But when we go to the New Testament here, you're going to see. You're going to see everything is English and Hebrew. Not English and Greek in the New Testament. So you see the English on the left and the Greek on the right. Thing is English and Hebrew. Not English and Greek in the New Testament. So you see the English on the left and the Greek on the right. We also have a Dutch Bible from 1599 from before the Staten Vertelling was written. Unfortunately, it's only the New Testament. But we're going to be doing some studies from this. Let's see. Let's just go to Matthew 5.22 quickly here. Four. Six. Five. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. 
I fully understand that uh, not everyone can afford these old Bibles. I mean, they're from the 1500s, 1600s. This one's from 1621, also before the Staten telling, but this is, uh, this is Latin. We're going to go to the Latin here and just check the couple of verses that we, we checked. So first we'll go to... Uh, Genesis. Even the uh, heaven is right here. The principal Asirius Dus Calum Thirium Filum Thirium. The heaven and the Daniel three twenty five quickly here. Scan it, and then we'll take a look at it. Wait a second. Capital three. Prophet Daniel. This is Isaiah 14, and we go down to 12. You can see that Lucifer's name is all over here. They didn't take Lucifer out like they did in New Bible versions.